Well, I am back in Thurmont, Maryland today. I decided to make the trek to Maryland. Um, I'm here hoping to find some treasures to buy and flip for a profit, even though it's only been a week. But you just never know. So let's head in. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start with the figurines and see what we can find. I like the looks of that bird back there. Oh, it's marked on the bottom. $3.49. It's kind of neat if they're googly eyes. <laughs> Just not sure about that. There's a snow baby looking box. I don't think it's actually a snow baby. And it does have damage there, unfortunately. What is this? Souvenir from Brussels. Alright. Oh, and this is interesting. What in the world is this thing? <laughs> it's a hobbyist piece. It's chic. Okay, down here it looks like it might be made in China or Japan. Four forty nine. It looks like there are two really neat um, salt and pepper shakers in there, shaped like elephants. And I think that dish is also an animal of some sort. So I guess somebody else decided they didn't want this, but I will take it. These appear to be made from polymer clay. I guess they're uh, made in China. Gosh, I'm going to have glitter on my hands for the rest of the day. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here in the clear glass today? It looks like we still have this glued thing that we saw the other day. This is interesting. From a distance, I thought that it was Fostoria American, but it's clearly not. Some carnival glass with a um, rose pattern on it. It's $4.49. It's a single cup. I don't think that that is really worthwhile. Here are the vases and planters. That one down there looks like a giant rabbit. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Oh, and that vase back there I think is Krasno Poland. Let's get a closer look, shall we? Oh, it's very heavy. Okay, here we go. That looks like it's made in Poland uh, because of that, that uh, <laughs> bubble in the bottom. Oh, there's lots of chipping on the edge, so that's a shame. Let's stick it back there. That's kind of nice. I like the glaze on that. And it's $4.50. I'll usually pick up art pottery um, like that if it's cheaper. This is Seabolt, maybe is the name on that. 1984. And then a glittery silver piece. Is that a rabbit? Oh my gosh, no, it's a pelican. <laughs> I thought it was a rabbit. That's too funny. This vase down here is interesting. Uh, it's contemporary. That in the back looks like it could be Lennox. Closer look at that. It is Lennox made in USA, so it's one of the older ones. Six dollars and forty-nine cents though. It is flat in the back. <laughs> it's not a glassy baby. It's thick like a glassy baby, but it's not. I don't see much else. There's a few Lennox candlestick holders. These ones are also made in USA. Five dollars and forty-nine cents each. Looks like they have quite a bit of this uh, Chinese porcelain. I believe these are made in China. There's two of them. There's a leaf-shaped dish over there. You know, the other day when I was here, um, I noticed when I was editing this plate here, and I want to get a closer look at that. Not this, but this. Let's see what that says. Just 95 or 9353. So it just has a mold mark on it. But I saw that when I was editing and I'm like, why didn't I turn that over? So these have really good clarity. I don't see any markings on the bottom though. It's in crystal, I would say. Maryland Renaissance Festival. <laughs> I have seen these. I've comped these out before. I think they sell between $12 and $18. Probably cost 40 to 50 at the Renaissance Fair. I've gotten in the habit of looking at these ever since I 
discovered that those um, Death Wish coffee mugs are worth quite a bit of money and they have a similar style to them. So <laughs> now I am looking. <laughs> a golf cup. It's the only one I see though. These are interesting. Sex on the beach. There you go. Another one of these cups back here. <laughs> Seems pretty decent quality, but they are $4.50 each. I guess I'm being a little bit more selective this time around. Down on the bottom, let's see what we can find. Hmm. Um, that is hand-painted serving plate with yellow roses on it. Estelle Ward painted that. It's not bad, but I don't think I need it. I do want to look at this dish here because that looks like it could be the base um, to an Atterbury covered dish. Oh man, I don't know though. It's pretty crude looking. It's $5.50. It could be Atterbury, but I'm not certain, so I'm going to leave it. I want to see what's under there. Ah, look, it's aloe vera, $4.49. Handmade in Mexico. Not a colorful dish for only $4.49. I think I will pick up this. I also need this from the other side. I think I looked at that the other day. There's a bird on it. It's made in Italy. That one up there looks like made in Mexico. Yeah, it's pretty, but it's pretty mine. Pretty common piece. Cordon blue made in China. <laughs> I like the figural handles on those. That's kind of sweet and kitschy. Seed art. <laughs> There's quite a few pieces missing though. Well, I'm going to swim through the lamps real quick and see if there's anything here, but otherwise I think we're probably done. Coca-Cola light and actually I think this is the top for it Makes sense This I'm surprised is still here this Jim Shore candle warmer How much was it eight dollars and fifty cents? I feel like I looked these up and they still feel like 15 to 25, but at 850 I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it's still here To give one last look here at the figurines. I noticed this little it's a fairy something on the bottom it's a mushroom but sometimes when I look at the figurines from another angle I so certain things come into focus but I don't know I don't think that's gonna happen today okay well my total spend there at that Goodwill was only $13 $13.44 I think um, but I got a few things three things and I think we're gonna move on down the road to the next Goodwill um, and I guess I'll see you there. Well, I've only been here once before, and the last time I was here, I totally missed a whole set of Vectors block. So, <laughs> maybe we'll find something today. Well, this Goodwill is crazy busy and crazy loud. Two of my favorite things. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna start right here. There's some silver fade in the back. I think that's part of a set, though, and the rest of it is missing. So that's not for us. Here's some clear glass it's worth checking out. Let's see. No markings on the bottom of that. Come here, you. What is wrong with your head? You lost your horns. You poor thing. I'm gonna scooch back here and look at these over here because those look like they could be promising. I think this is, uh, I don't think this is American. I think this is the other one. But how much is it? $5.50. There's two of them. I'll grab them. This candle has obviously seen better days. $2.49. Hmm. There are like a ton of people staring at me right now and it's really awkward. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you know me, just come say hi. Here we go. Spaghetti. Heck yeah. We just sold some of those not too long ago. They're a little spendy, right? Yeah, they're $3.49. The little one doesn't have anything on it. Um, and this one has a giant crack, so I should probably check the other one for a crack before I grab it. No, they appear to be in good condition. That looks promising. Made in Austria. Unfortunately, it's missing a lid. It looks like it would have been a good piece. 
well, this side. <laughs> oh wait, no, she's she's uh, sporting the gun too. Okay, oh look, they are restocking at this very moment. Look at that. Uh, so that's exciting, right? Let's look through the dishes. Um, this guy here, stylized. Ooh, sounds like a play on word if I play, play on word. A play on words that I can't speak. Those look interesting. There's a whole stack of them in the back. We should investigate. There are no markings on them, but they definitely have some age. Like I said, there's a whole stack and I kind of want them in my life. So there's still one piece back here, but it is missing a lid, so I don't think I'm going to bother with that guy. Unfortunately, we'll leave him back there. Alright, let's see what else we've got down here. This is, um... California Originals, $3.49. Kinda wanna get a closer look oh, at the blue. Oh my gosh, everything is stacked so precariously. It's a little frightening. That one is marked on the bottom. Johan something something, $2.49. I think that's what it says. J-O-H-A-N-N. I like the looks of those stilt marks, those three marks um, that would have held it up in the kiln. Looks like it might have some age to it. What do we have back here? That is made in Germany. Gers. I've seen these before. I'll grab that. Okay. Check to see if there's any more. If it's just the single, it's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm going to look over here now. I do like the fish. It's $7.50 though. Not seeing much. Um, there is a Oreo cookie jar. Here is. I figured we would check through the drinkware here and see if there is anything. Maybe a glossy baby, who knows? <laughs> what are these? Coca-Cola, um, 1976 glasses, right? Bicentennial glasses. I like the markings on those. Pottery Barn, of course. Interesting. There are a pair of these. How much are they? You may never know. $1.50 on the Pottery Barn mugs. Um, I might look those up. Even though they are contemporary, I know Pottery uh, Barn has a pretty good following. And uh, I'm going to stick those in my cart. This is a pretty nice mug, but it's just a single. It's heavy weight. I thought maybe it was Japan, but it's got a little bit more weight than I would expect. There's some California pottery. That looks like it matches the piece I got the other day. Oh, it's got a chip on it. I'll leave that, I think. Did we already look at this aisle? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of turned around now. This guy is adorable. <laughs> look at these sailors down here. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a hobbyist covered box. What is that? Is that satin glass? It is satin glass. It's really, really dirty. Um, I'm thinking that maybe either denture tablets or possibly a <laughs> magic eraser could help fix that. But that's a design I've never seen before. So how much is it? I don't even see a price on it unless my hand's on it. No, I don't see any price. I don't know what the policy is here for pricing stuff when it's brought up to the front. So I will give it a shot and see what they say. There is another one down here. What is this? $5.49 kind of makes me think it's Italian, but there's no markings on it. <laughs> He's too sweet. He's $5.50. Gotta keep an eye on those prices, as you know. Um, that is resin. And there was something that I had focused on and then <laughs> shifted, shifted my focus. Oh, what is that in the back? Squirrel. That's kind of interesting. Oh, it's Lennox. Lennox. Oh, 1949. Okay. We're going to just put you back here on this rickety shelf and hopefully you don't fall. What is this? It was the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> That's what I, was... I should pick that up and look at the bottom of it. And then, of course, I got distracted. 
So there is another fresh cart over here. And I wanted to just peek through it without getting in anyone's way. And there don't seem to be any workers around. So now is our chance. Let's see, what is this? It's pretty lightweight. <laughs> I don't think it's anything special. These, however, are these what I think they are? Those are cabin. Um, crap, what is it called? They may be EAPG. They could also be reproduction. But I think at a buck fifty a piece, I would be pretty safe on those. Here's some goblets, and I'm kind of leaning towards reproduction on these. Um, the way you can tell is something to do with the buffalo in the sun, which I'm gonna have to check when I get home. But at a buck fifty a piece, I'm willing to take that chance. And then in here, we've got some music playing. But I thought. There's a nice looking fiesta teapot right there. It's definitely a wannabe fiesta teapot and not an actual fiesta teapot, so never mind. Um, let's see what else is in here. Okay, I think I'm pretty much satisfied. There's a bunch of toys in that one. I wonder what is in the bottom of that though. What's under that truck? Down here. Yeah, it doesn't look that good, so. Okay. okay so I'm going to look through the artwork now and just see if I can spot anything. A lot of it looks like prints and nothing all that exciting except for maybe a unicorn right there is pretty cool. Come here unicorn. This is seven dollars and forty nine cents. It's marked H W Hogue. And you can see there is a copyright down here in 1979 so um, some vintage artwork. I actually kind of like it. There are some faces back here. I don't have any markings on them. There are a pair though. Let's see if the other one has anything on it. There we go. Made in China. There you go. In the world are those things? Oh, those are interesting. Are those those shuttles? Um, is that what that is? It's called a shuttle? really actually quite neat. 449. There are a pair of them. And then there's actually there's actually it's a three piece set. That's a candlestick holder. I like those. Those are neat. Okay, I'll grab those. <laughs> 449 a piece. Oy. It's okay. We'll still make money at that price. Such was Teleflora, I think possibly. I think the amber is applied to it, which would Indicate it's not the best quality. This has a very nice Grecian uh, key. Borsgrund, Norway. Hmm. Borsgrund, Norway. And what is this? Oh, that's plastic. Interesting. So here is another fresh cart to pick from. This one is not Fiesta either. <laughs> I can't seem to find another bin for it. Let's put it up here. Um, I was actually going for that vase, which I think might be McCoy. Ooh, it's very heavy. Let's see. It does have a marking on the bottom. Oh, it's Hager. Huh. There's a chip on the bottom, but I don't think that takes away from it too much. I have 849 on it, though. Ugh. I feel like I could still make something on that, so I'm going to take it anyway. Check out this shelf. That's super fun. <laughs> this is like one of those cheap shelves that you can buy at Walmart, right? That's actually really neat. I wonder if they put transfer paper. It looks like it was actually made this way. Say as you think and speak it from your soul. Okay, that's what it says. <laughs> can't tell if that has age or not. Oh, look. A Virgin by Carlo something. 1616 to 1686. Hmm. It's got some serious damage at the top, though. That's why it's being rejected. <laughs> All right, hole punches? Maybe not. Here's a pretty Nemaji piece. It is marked on the bottom. Um, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, Nemaji is not actually made by Native Americans. That's kind of a misconception. Uh, it's dollar fifty. I love the teal swirls on there, but I don't know. It doesn't sell for very much. I think it's like probably this is like an eight to twelve dollar piece, which you know 
<laughs> Usually I'm on the fence about those uh, that price range, but I think we're gonna leave it. I was just getting ready to leave. I was walking towards the exit. And I just happened to look down, and I had seen this um, this thing down here before, but I didn't realize that. Come here, come here, please, please. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's an owl. Oh my, that's so fun. I could hang that outside my house. He is missing one of his um, wings, which is unfortunate. I don't see it down there, but we could just tape something else on there that looks like, oh my God, wait a second. That's going in my cart. Did, did you see the Pendleton rabbits? Because I didn't, and now I am. And I'm like, what in the world? 350 each. And this guy? Was he here before? Oh, he's resin. He's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. It's quite the obelisk made in China. Did I not come down here? Did I miss all of this? Okay. That is a trinket box. Open. What in the world is happening right now? Okay, I think I'm going to grab the Pendleton. Um, I don't really see anything else. <laughs> of course, I already came down here once and I missed that stuff, so... I think I was a little distracted. I think that was the problem because there was just so many people here. I was a little overwhelmed at first. That's nice with the swans on it. Okay. Now I'm satisfied. I'm going to take the rabbits. Okay. Well, I had much better luck here than I did the last time. But I think that it is time to head up towards the checkout. And I'll get back to you in the car. So that ended up being more than I've spent in quite a while. Our total spend was $146, but we got some great stuff. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, the dinner set, I wasn't able to recognize the maker. Uh, obviously there were no markings or signatures on it. So I'm not exactly sure who made it. There's some lady staring at the back of my car. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure who made it, but um, I'm pretty confident that we'll do alright with that and I think that was probably the bulk of the cost because each of those items were priced individually. We also, of course, bought the Westward Ho pieces which I'm gonna have to do a little research on. There are websites that kind of guide you through which is reproduction and which is not. And like I said, it has something to do with the sun and the buffalo that is on those glasses. So, um, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.